Close my eyes. Uh, don't close your eyes yet. But when we get to the kitchen. <laughs> Whoa. What did he bring you? Excuse the giant mess on the island. Mommy, how do I open it? How do I open it, Mommy? How I'll do help I you open hold it? Up. How do I open it, Mommy? How do I open it? How do I open it, Mommy? Like that? Mm -hmm. Here, Mommy's gonna help you. Okay. The Easter Bunny bought you an Easter basket! Uh huh. And not a neutral thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of neutral things. A lot of neutral things, yes. You saw the Easter Bunny? Mm hmm. But I wanna say hi to the Easter Bunny. You saw him, remember when you did the Easter egg hunt? I think it's a chick squishy. Uh, yes, it is. That's so cool. What else you got in there? <laughs> this this look like for my backpack squash. Okay. <laughs> I think it's for my backpack. <laughs> wow! Look, it's my favorite. What is that? Easter egg M and M's. Whoa! And the Easter bunny and the Easter the, the Easter bunny brought me some eggs. Yeah. Candy. A magnet. Wow! A roast race. Book. Yeah, that's a new workbook for you to practice your letters and your numbers. This, this is great. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Hey guys, so it is now a few days after Easter. It's the 7th to be exact. And I think I just need to vent. I'm just having a day. I'm so stressed out. There's so much that I need to do. So first of all, I'm 37 weeks today. I have three weeks until my due date. This is my second baby. So they say that the second baby comes before their due date. I know that's not always the case, but they say there's more of a chance that the baby will come before their due date. However, I did have my 37 week checkup yesterday and so far, the baby hasn't dropped. I'm not di dilating yet. Dilating? Dilating? Yet. <laughs> um, I said baby's still pretty high up. My doctor's like, this baby's not coming till the end of the month, which is actually good news as much as I can't wait to meet her. Hi, babe. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What are you, are you doing a video? Yeah, you want to say hi? Hi. Are you excited baby sister's coming soon? Yeah. Is my video? Oh, it could be both of our videos. Huh? It could be both of our videos. Is both of our videos? Sure. Yeah. So, my doctor said baby should not come till the end of the month, but as we all know, babies come when they want to come, so something could change at any moment. So, I'm just stressed. I have so much that I need to do. Um, I'm going to in a few minutes I'm going to take you guys around the house cuz I know my last vlog a few weeks ago, I was telling you guys about all the things we're doing to the house and some new furniture. So there have been a lot of updates since then. We have done a lot so far, but we do have a lot more to go. Um, other than a bunch of house stuff and getting baby stuff ready, I just have so much on my plate. I have so much to do. We just finished painting the nursery. Well, Trey did, so thank God for him because I can't really paint that much. So he pretty much painted that whole room by himself. But there's all the furniture we have to build to go in there. We have yet to buy a crib, which is fine because that you don't need right away. Um, but dresser came yesterday and a piece is broken. So there's no closet in that room. I need the dresser to organize her clothes and everything. So I was slightly stressed about that because I wanted to start washing and organizing all of her clothes ASAP as she could be here, like to be honest, next week if she wanted to. 
But now we have to wait for that broken piece to come in to build the dresser and to put all the clothes away and organize all of that. And besides all the baby things, I am planning my aunt's gender reveal, which is happening this weekend. And I'm so excited for that. I'm so happy to do that. Me and Terry are the only ones who know the gender of her baby and her babies are gonna be, what well, I think like four months apart. So I'm so excited for that. But yeah, it's a lot of work planning that and it might rain that day. So I need to like plan it indoors when it was originally gonna be outdoors. But there's just a lot going on with that. I'm helping Trey with the launch of his business next month. Um, it is something food related. If you don't know, my boyfriend's a chef. So he's doing a food related type business, but you guys will get all the details on that in the future. So I'm helping him plan like his launch dinner party type thing, um, which I'm in charge of like the decor and like the invitations and all everything for that, which will be an, a little bit more than a month from now, um, starting May. I'm gonna start planning the baby shower for my aunt. Uh, so there's just a lot to do. There's a lot to plan. Meanwhile, I am nine months pregnant and I feel like doing nothing but sleeping, but I cannot sleep because First of all, it's uncomfortable. I'm like barely sleeping these days, which I'm not gonna complain about. I know like newborn stage, I'll probably sleep even less. With Carter, it was a rough first few weeks, but Carter slept through the night by the time he was two months. So we'll see if we get that lucky again. I'm not gonna put my coins on it because we were already so lucky the first time, but it's fine. I feel like we've learned to thrive off little sleep. Trayvon especially, he's pretty good without a lot of sleep. I definitely have a more difficult time, but I'm definitely getting the practice. I barely sleep now. I'm so uncomfortable. I wake up every single hour, probably more than that, to pee and to switch sides because I can only sleep on like my left or right side. And then whatever side I'm sleeping on, my leg falls asleep and it starts throbbing and hurting and I wake up in so much pain and it's hard to fall back asleep. So sleep is just going to be non-existent for the next few months probably. That's fine, <laughs> but I also feel like, I just feel like I can't breathe. I feel like, you know, baby's legs are all up in my lungs. My lungs are compressed upwards. All my organs are all over the place in my body. And there's just so much to get done. So yeah, let me stop babbling on and I wanna give you guys a little tour. Okay, so if you haven't watched my last vlog, go back and watch it to kind of see the before. But our room is actually almost done. So we got our nightstands and I'll link everything that I can find down below if you guys want to see. I'll do a whole like furnished house tour once our apartment is fully completed and the nursery and all that. But this is just kind of an update for you guys. So those nightstands and the little night lamps are new. Um, I switched out my bedding to kind of like a more spring vibe. I got a new mirror at Home Goods. I don't know if you guys saw that TV stand already, but we got a little accent chair. This is some stuff that I have to hang up. I have like six frames that I'm gonna wait to hang up until the baby's born so we could put a picture of her in there. And then we'll have like six gold frames above our bed there. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these pictures. They were originally going to be for our room, but I don't know if I have anywhere to put them in here. So they might either be for the nursery or for the living room. So our room is coming together nicely. We're going for a super minimal aesthetic vibes. It's just so much easier to keep clean and keep organized. I did get a little stand for my phone to charge with my Apple Watch and um, AirPods, which I don't have, but I do want to get some. <laughs> so these little coasters are also from Amazon. So cute. And we are absolutely in love with our desks. So this is going to be our little office slash closet area. Keep my ring light there. My desk is pretty much organized for the most part. Um, I got that little diffuser from Target. I organized my makeup in here. I really don't have a lot of makeup. This is everything I own. Um, I'm a same kind of makeup every day kind of girl so I don't need much I put all my jewelry some sunglasses in here I have my hair stuff organized and then hair tools and then some random things and 
all my camera equipment. And this is Trey's side of the office. He still has to organize all his stuff here and put some shelves up. Better put our little mini fridge that was in the man cave in here. Um, I think I'm going to switch out that plant. We feel like we need something taller there. So I don't know if I should do pompous grass or keep like the greenery vibe in here. I kind of like some sort of greenery in here for the office. And then I'm also currently going to build baby's bassinet. And we have all the baby stuff that was in the nursery to the side here in the living room, which I'm trying to go through all of it today and, you know, not organize everything, but just take things out of boxes because it's recycle night so we can get rid of a lot of boxes and stuff. Living room, we're not going to refurnish until everything else is done. So we still have our, you know, gross old couch, which we will get rid, rid of soon, but not just yet. And what a difference. Last time you guys saw this room, it was a fully black man cave. Trey MVP painted this whole room on his own. Currently, all I have in here is her little side table. I'm going to put a rocking chair there and her crib. That's actually the dresser that's going over here. It arrived yesterday, but like I said, there's a broken piece, so we can't build that just yet. I bought curtains. There's just a bunch of stuff that we need to do in this room. So I'll show you guys the after of that in a few weeks. Carter's room is slightly different. I did move some stuff around. We got a new toy organization system, but his room is not done. He is getting a new bed. He's getting like one of those low loft beds. So I can probably put like over this or I don't know how I'm going to do it. We actually painted his little zoo to match his room a little bit better. And yeah, there's just a lot to do still in this room as well. His room and the nursery, we're getting foam like play mats for them that look really nice like a rug. They're really nice designs, but they're little foam play mats. You excited for your room to be done? Carter. You excited for your room to be done? Yeah. All right, and I think you guys haven't seen this island. So we got this island from Ikea. Trey's absolutely obsessed with it. The bar stools are Wait, from mommy, Amazon. Yes. I want something in my closet. What do you want in your closet? I'll show you. What would you like, babe? Oh, I did organize his closet a little bit more. I'm not really doing much else in here. No. All his pants, his shirts are this organized, one, some bigger toys one. in there. What do you want, the shield? Mm -hmm. Here we go. What do you say? Thank you. Oh, that's not the shield, that's the clock. I was talking about this. Oh, okay, we've got to put that up, but that'll be last. Grandpa has to put that up for us, okay? How many clock is it? How many o'clock is it? You mean what time is it, babe? What time is it? Um, I'll go check. Okay? Okay. It's almost four o'clock. <sighs> yeah. So, Mom, I kept this I thing in like here. I just clothes. organized some of his clothes in here. He has some extra storage. He, he has a pretty big closet, so... He has a bunch of storage in here. Yeah, this is the island that we got from Ikea. We are absolutely obsessed Mom, with it. it when the little, when the little stick is at four, that means it's four o'clock? Yeah, the little stick has to be at four and the big stick at 12. That means it's four o'clock, okay? Um, we, and then we also got this new kind of, I don't know, restaurant type rack, kitchen rack thing. And Trey put all his appliances on here. Um, he's in charge of the kitchen. He's going to reorganize some of the inside of our cabinets and stuff. That, and it's full good job, babe. You're so smart. I did it. Yay. <laughs> all right, babe, go put it in your room. So yeah, this is stuff that we just have to figure out where it's going. He's reorganizing the cabinets and seeing where everything's going to go. I made a little space to put the baby's bottle sterilizer and warmer over there. So once I unpack, I will put that there. I'm so in love with this island. It's so beautiful. This is 37 weeks. 
with little baby inside. This is what my belly looks like. At 37 weeks, I'm feeling very, very large. I feel like I can't breathe much anymore. Sleep is very uncomfortable. But yeah, she will be here very soon and I'm very excited for that. So I do want to show you guys, I did receive a package from Hey Mama, who has a collaboration with H&M, and they're so, 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 so sweet. They sent me some newborn clothes for baby girl. We got this cute little polka dot hat with the matching leggings and a matching little onesie. This is from H&M's um, newborn baby line, I believe. So cute. And then we got this outfit, this little overalls with the white t-shirt. I just can't wait to see her in this stuff. We got this little short sleeve, or no, long sleeve onesie. So adorable. Loving the colors that they sent me, neutral. This one's adorable, born 2021, little t-shirt. And we got this little hat these little leggings and I love how this has the little footy part attached to it oh, I can definitely see her in that and then we got this little button down kind of sleeping onesie and it's so cute it has little bears on it so thank you so much for sending me this you guys I'm absolutely in love definitely check out H&M's baby clothes say hi. go ahead say hi, hi. Ha <laughs>